Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Zero. When we last left off, we were about to go into the temple, and I believe Mr. Takamine is inside somewhere. Let's have a little look, shall we? We certainly followed some kind of ghoul into this thing. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, hang on. Am I now understanding something new with the... So, right, okay. So, if I tap circle, she holds the camera up. If I hold down circle for a few seconds longer... Oh, hang on, let's just try that in combat. We have just saved it, so... Right, so there's a mirror that I'm guessing has smashed. That was some, like, important voodoo. Uh, that we read about, and there's like a big nasty blood stain of blood in the in, in the middle of the room, which is rather unsettling. There is an audio tape on the pedestal, blue tape, an audio tape with a blue label. Looks like it's half used. Yeah, there are four Buddha statues and some uh, and some kind of pedestal in front of the small shrine. Yeah, now if we remember, Mr. Takamine was saying something about. Kiri's the last maiden. Oh! Hey, sir! Crucified man! What are you doing up there, you silly sod? Ooh. Yeah, he's got fantastic hair. Okay. I remember this boss fight. Kind of. I also remember this being really quite a challenge. Is it a challenge, though? Well, I don't know the answer to that. But I guess I will find out. Alright, you dick penis man. Let's fight. You look like a priest or something. Right, okay. Right, okay. Oh, God. Um, ow. Pain. Not good. That really hurt. Uh, right. This guy's pretty quick. And I, you know, I really sometimes can't tell. So if we... Right, we're fully charged. Boom! Right, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. Right, we're fully charged. Come to me, Mr. Tack and mine. Ooh, oh, you son of a... Literally pushed the button then. Um, so, guys, I'm learning something here. If we tap the button... We... Funny enough... Ooh. Let's go into a zero shot. Oh, come on. That, is that input delay? No, seriously, is there input delay? Because you push the button, but it doesn't quite activate. Right, so what the controls don't tell you is there's two ways of actually bringing the camera up. You have, of course, uh, a quick press. Right, got ya. Yeah, you have a quick press that appears to um, permanently bring the camera lens up. And you have a long press. So it would have been nice for the game to actually explain that. Uh, okay. We've gone dark. We've gone dark. Say, I don't know what the hell that shit's about. Where is he? Oh, God. He's right on top of us, apparently. Oh, no, no, no. This is not where we want to be. Where is he? Let's get out of here again, shall we? Now, I guess... 
It was expected that we lose a little bit of health on this fight. I mean, I, this is supposed to be a boss fight, right? There he is. Right, let's just rattle off some rounds at this thing. And by rounds, I, of course, mean let's use some of this film. There we go. He's done. Okay. Uh, we definitely could have done that better. That's for sure. Some Shinto gate somewhere. Show you? Okay. Uh, what could be at the Shinto gate? I don't know. I'm very tempted to do that again because that went very, very poorly. Um, however, we didn't really lose a lot of health. We just lost one of those crystal things. And the Shinto gates got ya. Yeah, uh, we, yeah, we didn't really lose anything there. Apart from our crystal, we can go pick up another one. Uh, as we can only hold one of those at a time, that's fine. Uh, I'm about to go to the shrine deep within Himuro Mansion, where they say a piece of the true holy mirror is kept. The curse has already left its mark on my four limbs. There is no escaping it. About the only thing left now uh, that I can do is to try and reseal the hell gate. This is my last hope. I've already found four of the Buddha statues. I need to get a piece of the mirror. And I've managed to find an old document that tells me the location of the fifth statue. Make observance to the Buddha at the base of the large gate so that the souls of the pious... Pitus? Never seen that word before. So the souls of the Pitus maidens can reach up to the heavens. If all goes well, uh, nobody will ever have to read these notes and I can use them towards the uh, content of my next book. In closing, I would like to thank my assistant and partner, Tomato uh, Hirasaka. If it weren't for the words she left me with, I wouldn't have been able to complete this, my final work, and if I don't return, please give her a decent burial. Signed, Jensei Takamine. Right, uh, I put the novelist's death note in my file. So, I mean, basically, uh, he nearly reflected the curse. Uh, he's done a lot of the work for us, which is jolly damn good of the fella, that's for sure. Now, is there... Ooh. Right. Another Buddha statue appears in the row of Buddha statues. Yeah. But it ain't there. Can we take another photo of it? Uh, how many times can we take photos of that then? Okay, we're not actually getting anything for them. Makes sense, I suppose. Um, right. Oh, wow. We have a lot of XP. Um, we've got the max speed going on. I guess value might be good. So we can uh, start doing more damage. But I also like the idea of a bigger range uh, finder. However, it's not really too bad at the moment, is it? But... Um, yeah, because potentially we can do more damage per blast with that. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe. I suppose we will get more... Yeah, that's going to be expensive. Uh, we will get more for our money out of each shot of film that way, I guess. Right, so we need to find a Buddha statue. And I'm surprised she's not mentioning the fact that one of these mirrors is broken. We've only got 14 shots left, but that's fine. Okay. Now, as far as I can understand, those... I need to look something up in this game. Uh, because, of course, by the time I start uploading this and I get to this video, I would have quite possibly already completed this game. Um, if not, I would be very close to. So those mirrors, uh, or those revive thingies, pebbles, things, mirrors, stones, I think... I think I read somewhere that they respawn every chapter. I'm not sure though. <clears throat> All right, let's move through here at a not so rapid pace. Yeah, I'm not happy with that performance. We definitely could have done that better for absolute certainty. 
Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. It's my first time through the game, I suppose. I shouldn't be too hard on myself, I guess. Uh, right, that was that save. So let's fire off one there. Top slot. So, um... Now where to go? Um, we've got to find the Shinto a Shinto gate. Wasn't there a Shinto gate back here though? Uh, because we oh we got another we got a tape didn't we? Let's have a little listen to that. Oh, we're barely injured, which is nice. Stone mirror, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't want to lose that. Yeah, we've got blue tape too. Is she the one causing this disaster? All of those earlier deaths? Koji, Tomoe, all of them? Am I the next to die? Tomoe. The rope shrine maiden ritual, as told of in legend. Both arms, legs, and the neck. It is said when all five have been marked, the curse is complete. Ropes are beginning to appear on my photo. I'm running out of time. It's got to be said, the storyline of this game is very Japanese horror, and I love it. It almost reminds me of something like The Ring. Uh, it, it's really, it's really is quite good. Uh, I find a lot of Japanese horror games um, can be way more interesting than Western ones. You know, but then I find that with Japanese horror films as well. Uh, most Western horror films, uh, in my opinion, are pretty weak. Now, uh, yeah, I guess we're not talking about that. What exactly are we looking for here? Uh, let's go to file. Black. No. Is it a scr oh, wait. Photos. Ah, right. Okay. Shinto gate in photo. Yeah, isn't that... That. And what? How... Oh, God. Really? You again? So, what was her name? Tumaway. I would never have got that. Yeah, this looks like that um, Shinto gate. Again, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but, you know, to be honest, I don't really care. Um, I'm not Japanese. I don't pretend to be, like <laughs> some people. Uh, but hey. Mm. So where are we going then? We didn't appear to actually get anything from that guy. Uh, I did think that maybe he would drop us a key or something, but no. The only thing we discovered is that we need a Buddha statue, which I guess is, you know, uh, <laughs> quite important because we know what we're looking for. We just have no real idea where it is, unless that um, Shinto gate that we can see is an indicator of where we need... Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, son of a bitch. I thought that that was a... <laughs> you little dick penis man. I thought that was a um, target of opportunity. Really? There's going to be no forgiveness. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Why would it not mention the fact? Why would it not mention the fact that you tap it to bring it up permanently and you hold it down? So like if I hold it, second I release circle, goes away. Do it again. Hold down circle, as soon as I release, goes away. If I tap circle, brings it up permanently, have free motion, free use of the sticks. Yeah, that makes sense. 
<sighs> Maybe it says that in the manual. I don't know. Okay, so we got another ghost kill thing. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a target of opportunity. However, I'm starting to believe that those targets of opportunity uh, make the filament glow blue. And if it's a, a ghost that we can attack or can attack us, then I guess it glows uh, kind of like a whitey yellow color. Which, I wonder if Jimmy... Uh, I wonder if you had trouble with distinguishing the two, actually, because of your color blindness. Right. Color blindness as well, it's such um, a common thing. Um, and if you're dyslexic as well, uh, like I am, I'm, I'm quite dyslexic, actually. Uh, and so is my partner. There's a lot of colours that you can't see on other colours. Which is kind of like a weird thing, but there we go. Doors nailed shut. So where haven't we been? There... Ooh. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, because we got a stone, didn't we? I wonder if we can open that. Maybe. I guess. Yeah, being colorblind is pretty tough. But the thing is, with colorblindness as well, uh, or being colorblind, it's not that rare. You know? I know loads of people that are colorblind. And you would have thought that more games would actually take that into consideration. Okay. I know a lot of games these days do have a mode for that, but an awful bloody lot of them don't as well. Right. Now, can we get in here, I wonder? We can, I guess? No, we can't. But it's probably broken. Okay. Um, where do we go, then? If I get proper stuck... Like, I have a feeling that I might get. I will look up where we have to go next. I want to give myself a chance to try and work it out. But I also don't want to be running around stuck for like seven years. Um, I guess we'll save it here. I haven't even got a clue, like... There was... No, that's the same thing as well. Yeah, probably unlocks the door, but it's broken. Okay. So we need something for that then. Where would there be a Buddha statue? I'm guessing they're not that hard to find. I mean... Takamine found one. Jensei. Jensei. That's a pretty rad name, actually. Jensei Takamine. Okay. Oh. Come on. Right. Have some of that, you bitch. Oh, oh no, we hit it. We hit it. Fuck you. Get out of here. Man, I had trouble with her. Dude, being able to like move and shoot at the same time, it's transformative. Oh. Okay. So, anyway, um, right. I can't think of what items we actually have. That door that we're kind of aiming at through the wall um, on the bottom there, that was the door that was tangled up with hair. So I'm guessing... Yeah, <clears throat> so that door there is the one that's all tangled up with hair. 
That I don't really know because the door next to it is open anyway. I don't know. I'm guessing the fact that that's yellow means it's it was because it was a hidden door. The lamp hallway. Maybe. And that door's nailed shut. That I'm guessing we need something. Um, that's the shrine there. Now upstairs, ooh, we've got the walkway. That's the sealed door there, which really sucks. Yeah, we could go upstairs, I suppose, and try some of these doors. Um, maybe? Yeah, we could go round the outside, I guess. And if nothing else, we can grab some more uh, film for our camera. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how long this game is either. I think it's longer than like a, a Resident Evil game. And I thought that was a ghost then. I was about to say, son of a bitch, come to papa. Uh, where does this lead? Right, is this door still locked? Door is stuck fast. I tried pulling on it, but it wouldn't budge. Fuck you, door. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, and that's the little door that's stuck. That door is also stuck. Hmm. Now, I'm guessing, like, if we're aimlessly wandering around for X amount of time, we are just going to continuously get attacked by ghosts. I guess. Uh, I'm not even that mad about that, to be honest. Yes. Well, even if we could open that door, the one that's got the hair on it, uh, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, we can already get into that room anyway. We've just got to go the long way around, which actually isn't even really that long. Like, well, actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is quite a long way around. <laughs> I don't. I, th I was going to say I don't think we've missed any items, but Titan, you fool! Of course you've missed an item. You've missed something. I know we need a Buddha statue, but where the hell could that be? Uh, let's go back out. I don't want to be wandering around for ages like a headless chicken. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to find out where we need to go. And we're back, guys. Uh, okay, so apparently I'm a little bit soft in the head. Uh, yeah, that was the gate, and apparently we're meant to search the gate. I was thrown off by the fact that we didn't get any kind of filament action there. Um, I've just come back into this room. And we have targets. Come to me, you bitch. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Your soul is mine. Well, at least this time. Alright. I mean, I guess it's possible in this game. And I'm getting turned around now. It's uh, possible in this game to grind, I guess. Uh, ah, have I just gone, like, full circle? Yep. Or full retard, really, as we call it. Right, okay, I'm going to get us back to the shrine. I will uh, <laughs> unpause it if we find any more ghosties. Right, so, apparently, what we're looking for is at the base of this shrine. Now, yeah, that was bizarre. I was really thrown off by the fact that there was no filament action here. Boy, do I feel stupid. Ah. Jensei, you are so close. There is a hidden door at the base of the Shinto gate. There's something inside. Headless Buddha. The Buddha is damaged and painted in red, like blood. There is something written on the paper the Buddha statue was wrapped in. 
Five Buddhas document. Bury the rope maiden spirit. <clears throat> uh, place the five Buddha with her damaged limbs. Uh, okay. So I guess now we've got to go back and fiddle with the shrine. Okay. I mean, we we did fight a couple of ghosts by exploring the mansion. So, I mean, it wasn't waste. A row of four Buddhas. A space for another in the middle. Okay. I put the Buddha statue with the damage head between the other four Buddha statues. The pedestal opened and revealed a three by three grid of holes. Ooh. Right. Uh, a row of Buddha statues appears above the row of holes in the pedestal. Right. So let's try and get a better shot of that. Can't really make those out. I guess that's the order that we need to put them in, but I mean... It looks like the one at the back's got a bloody head. Back middle. The two at the front are missing arms. Right. Okay. Uh, so that, that, that. Nothing happens. Oh, you fucker. Oh, hang on. Right, yeah. Can see the pattern. Which is technically the body one, then? I guess that's the head. That's an arm. That's another arm. Leg. Leg. There we go. I heard a soft sound. I think it unlocked. Ooh. Is this the holy mirror? I guess so. It's just a piece of it. I guess we've got to glue it back together. <laughs> Ooh, that's very the ring. Get the camera out. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Uh. Uh, do we fail? Yes, we're not dead, which is good. Yes, yes, that's good. Uh oh. The rope? No. Ah, 
so it's Kiru that's making people ropeified. I see. I mean, that was fairly obvious, to be 100% honest with you. Um, but she, like, touches you and uh, torments you. Okay. But with that, guys, we're literally in half an hour here. Uh, maybe we could have seen a little bit of the next part if I didn't come down with um, retardation. But hey, um, I'm now further in this game than I've ever been before. I can't believe how close I was to the end of the, well, I want to say chapter. I know this game's kind of in chapters. I think there's three or four um, <clears throat> and from what I can understand, the first chapter is actually the longest one. Uh, the game does get, as well, from what I've heard, significantly harder from here on out. But, having said that, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. The game has not been difficult uh, up to this point. I, I, I don't know. I've really, really struggled. However, I have just realised that... Uh, there's two ways of bringing up the camera, which, oh my god, I wish I knew that at the time. I mean, admittedly, it makes no sense and is completely stupid. But once you know, you know. So, anyway guys, I'm looking forward to seeing the next part of this game. And I hope you are too. Thanks for watching everybody and as always, till next time.